All right. The biscuit. Number six. Six is for dicks. We're in the biscuit. Let's get going. Oh, crack your little bats. Take off your hats. It's time. How you guys doing? It's been a good week. Busy, busy week. Had to get the uh, old tree in the house for the kids for Christmas. Get that shit started up. Get the train around it. And that's, uh, you know, you got to dig the fucking things out of the basement. Bring them up. Put the shit on the tree. Take them back down. And uh, doing all that with uh, hockey on a six-year-old and a 18-month is a uh, it's a chore. But I got a great wife and she helped out a lot. And the tree's up and it looks beautiful. I'm thinking uh, biscuit fucking Christmas ornaments. What do you guys think? My face, you know, with it on there. Happy birthday to you. Happy 99th birthday, NHL. I'm a little confused because it's their 99th birthday, but they're having the Sentinel game of the Wings and Maple Leaf. You know how that shit is. They got a... They'll do, uh, you know, some teams played before the league was started, but they're part of the league. All that dog shit. Anyway, that's an amazing uh, feat. Congratulations. I love it. Love the league. Love hockey. Love you guys. <clears throat> On the top of the pops here, Gary Hall got fired from the Florida Panthers. Took them to the playoffs last year. I think they were second in the division. Had a shit ton of wins. Um, the front office got blew up in the off season, and uh, I, you know, they were just waiting for a reason to get rid of the dude. And the way they did him, they did him dirty. They went up to the old Kakalakis there and. They lost, and he got shit-canned. And uh, I think it was last Sunday, Sunday night, after I got back in the uh, house from the studio. Uh, you're just seeing pictures of this fucking sad, bald dude on the fucking curb loading up his bags, and it's his head coach, Galleon. Galleon. Whatever the fuck you want to say. I don't know. I don't fucking ask you. I say what I say. And I retweeted it because it's... It was news, but then I felt like a shit bag, man. This fucking guy, all the players love him. He's a fucking winner. Pa Panthers aren't doing that bad. Uh, and uh, they shit can his ass, and there's one guy out there taking pictures of the asshole. And uh, they made him look, I don't know, man. I, I, I wish I wouldn't have tweeted out, because then I felt like a fucking entertainment news like baby back bitch by sending that shit out, but uh, he'll get a job. Um, you know, maybe Las Vegas. <laughs> I hope not. Uh, you know what? Whatever he wants, I hope that's what he gets. I, he's still gonna get paid. So uh, any team that will will get that guy is getting one a hell of a coach. I know th they were saying that everyone in the locker room loved the dude, and I think they're having issues down there. Uh, it seems like more of the news is about. Uh, Yamir Yager's, um, uh, what, what am I looking to say here? His, uh, his feats, his, uh, accomplishments as a hockey player, uh, more so than what's happening as a team there. And maybe that's just going to happen for the next couple. I, I don't see him playing next season. Do you? I don't, but maybe that's what they're riding out. Uh, you know, it's Florida. Come see the old man. Old people come see the old man. And speaking of old uh, Yager, the 91-92 uh, Penguins were out the other night. And he was, uh, what, like the only dude out? He was 19, 20 years old when those teams did that? Holy fuck. What a freak, man. And if you didn't see, I retweeted the other day uh, him with his fucking full mane and some kind of Pittsburgh peanut butter they made. Looks fucking disgusting with his face on it. But go look back through my fucking timeline and... You can find that that picture pretty gross, pretty gross. Hey, uh, I'm using a a new recording program today, so that that the time won't stop. Um, I don't know how I'm going to upload it or how it sounds. I, I didn't test it, and I'm not going to test it. This is me testing it, doing the podcast. So we'll see what happens. 
Uh, we'll get back to that uh, 91, 92 Penguins here as we get down the line. Um, it was it was Monday or Tuesday when uh, every single fucking good game, like you you could not watch. When I I was flipping between like the Blue Jackets playing Tampa Bay, I think so. It would have been Tuesday night, right? Yeah. So and then old uh, here comes Jackie, or look who's look who's here. Jackie is coming back to playing Eichel. So I wanted to see him play. And then I think it was uh, Austin Matthews playing. Sydney that night. So you know Batman was fucking blowing loads in his pants getting to watch that. Or was he playing with Jesus? I don't know. There was like six, seven, nine, ten, fucking twelve games that I had to watch. Obviously, I don't. Re- I didn't retain all of it because my fucking brain can't handle that much hockey. But it was, it was so fucking sick. It was better than any NFL Sunday, almost ever. And that that got me to thinking. The NHL right now is fucking way better than the NFL. What are you doing? Huh? Banging on the door. What, do you want to come out? The little one wants to listen to the recording. Anyway, um, so I, th- I think you compare it to any Sunday, the NHL that day is hands down better. It was fucking sick. Uh, Eichel scored on the power play seven seconds into it. Got an assist. Hi. You dancing? And then I went back to the Blue Jackets game, and then I switched it over again, and there he was scoring. So he got two points his first game back. Dude's a beast. Happy to see him playing. That redheaded fuck can play some puck. Oh, oh, who's the rookie of the month, you ask? Mm, Wierenski, Columbus Blue Jackets. Fucking running his campaign to get rookie of the year. Let's see it. I'd like to see it. You'd like to see it. Mm, mm mm-mm. The uh, NHL Network did their quarter of the season awards, Bill Lindsay and John McClain. So let's go down through those. For the Vesna, both of them picked uh, Carey Price, and uh, there's no surprise there. But then the one fucking dude said, you know, uh, something about uh, Roberto Luongo. And what, they gave him a C a couple years ago, and it all fucked up, and that's why Carey Price can't wear a C. I say fuck that. Give a goalie a C. I'd love to see it. I know Sawchuck wore one way back in the day for the Wings, so I think that's dog shit. I don't, I don't agree with that. Let them wear them. Put them on them. They can be captains. They might be weirdos, but they can fucking lead teams, and that's exactly what Price does for that organization. The Art Ross. Bill picked Sid. John picked McJesus. Bettman came in his pants. Norris Trophy, old Johnny went with Shay Weber, and Bill went with the bearded one, Brett Burns. I gotta agree with Bill on that one. He's next level. Weber's good, but uh, you know it's not as sexy as a pick to have Burns win it. I think that it's better for the league. <clears throat> Jack Adams, Bill went with. Uh, the fucking coach from the Rangers. I can't say his last name. Vignolti? Vignolt? Elaine? I don't know. Fuck the Rangers. Fuck him. Because the real winner of the best tro- or best coach of the year is old uh, McLean's fucking pick. Tortorella. Suck a dick. That's who's winning it. It's going to take the team to the playoffs, win the Stanley Cup, win coach of the year. Everybody's going to be a Blue Jackets fan. So I'll see you at the games next year. Oh, and the Calder Trophy, Rookie of the Year. Uh, I, I think it's a toss-up between these two. So, John went with Line A and Bill went with Wierenski. It'll go to Austin Matthews, most likely. Um, just because that's how it goes. It's just like uh, the Consumite in the fucking playoffs last year. 100% was fat fucking Kessels, but they're going to give that to Sydney 100 times. 100, 100 times out of 100 times. It's just how it is. <clears throat> so I said I was going to watch some Ottawa games this week. I did. I watched a couple. I watched them get uh, smacked down by the Flyers. And uh, 
But I, I think Eichel's playing them on Tuesday, and I think they got smacked down in. I don't know how the fuck they're in the second place in the Atlantic, but uh, they are. Was not impressed with them. Um, I did become a fan of old Mark Bar- Barowatsky. So fucking, I don't know his last name. I can't say it. Can't read it. Can't say it. But that dude's a beast. He's a fucking goon. He has no teeth. He doesn't take shit from anybody. And I appreciate it. Oh, I hope this is still recording. God damn it. I'm on the fucking iTalk. But it, like... I think it's still going. You want a Ricola? A Ricola? I don't think we have any more. I had one in the shower. You left the bag empty in the medicine cabinet. Do you want a Ricola? <laughs> you keep coughing. I haven't coughed once. <clears throat> I'm clearing my throat. Can a man clear his throat? Harwin, answer that. Huh? Yeah. Come out here and chastise me. Get her a coat. No, I do not need a Ricola. I need this thing to stay on and record, though. Ooh! Johnny Hockey's back. Came back tonight, Sunday night. He, I don't know how it's legal, but he, they gave him extra pads on his hand. Uh, but he's back, and that's great. I love him. He is uh, He's the future. Calgary needs him hard. I need him hard for my fucking picks. Glad to see him back. And uh, fuck those dudes that did him dirty. I hope someone gets fucking punched in the mouth because you can't. And that's another thing. The first hit, okay. Maybe that's an accident. Second one, you're getting you're getting checked. The third one, someone's getting their fucking teeth knocked out. That's your best player, and you're just gonna let that shit happen. Fucking puss puck. Call it puss puck. <laughs> they call it puss ball. They call it puss ball. Oh, the all star voting's open. Did you go vote? Did you? Who? Oh, I did. I'll tell you who I picked for captains my first round. I went with uh, Vanek out of the Atlantic. Um, and I went with Bravowski out of the Metro. Brett Burns out of the Pacific. And uh, the rookie, Liney, for uh, the Central. Those are my captains. Send me your captains on the Twitter there. Let me uh, see who you guys are picking. I'm not going to go down through my whole lines. and I try to keep the same captains, but uh, I vote every day. Because I'm an American, and I like to vote. Go out there and vote. Vote, 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 vote. Vote for the All-Star game. It's fun. And it's the best All-Star game in any sport. And that was proven last year. It's fucking awesome. Uh, thoughts go out to Craig Anderson and his wife. Um... He's taking a leave of absence from the Senators. Uh, his wife has some kind of cancer, and he's sticking by her side. He's a good man, so I hope everything works out for him, and I hope Ottawa keeps winning without him because uh, that's just a s- sad story. Oh, Detroit. Poor, poor, poor Detroit. Every time they fucking get a little bit of something, they're just showing their fucking old age. Everybody's getting hurt. So they won tonight. They did win tonight. And uh, old, old Green got a fucking... Don't look at me like that when you leave the goddamn room. That's how you get a fucking DV up in here. Don't think. I haven't noticed. But uh, so Green had a hat trick tonight. Good for him. But uh, what? Anthony C. U. went on long-term. Abdicators on seven-day IR. Uh... Howard's still hurt. uh, Smith's hurt, I believe. So uh, Bertruzzi's still hurt. They're depleted. But uh, they got a big win tonight, so good for them. And any team that beats that fucking Islanders team in that stupid arena, the worst fucking barn in the history of goddamn sports, somebody fucking get them out of there. I hate... It's like watching a goddamn soccer game. The stupid fucking car, or like watching a KHL game. It's it, it, it's so bad for the league. It makes it's fucking amateur, amateur hour. And I don't know how they're standing for it. I guess I got no fucking choice. But uh, I'm not a fan of it. I don't like it one bit. Ooh, big game! Uh, big game this week for my household. 
And I know you guys care about what uh, I'm up to. Because you love me. Do you love me? But you love games with me. I'm all Greg. But uh, CBJ, Detroit, play Friday night. We're going to do, uh, I think we're going to do a little experiment and try to do uh, some live commentary for the podcast. Because my wife's a huge Wings fan. I'm a huge Blue Jackets fan. We usually have a couple beers there and uh, have some heated arguments during the game. Especially if it's a close one, and it usually is. I know a lot of hockey fans <clears throat> don't think Columbus is a real team. I think that's bullshit. And people don't think that's a real rivalry, but it is. And, uh, yeah, we got swept by them in the first time we ever went to the playoffs. Um, I was actually getting tattooed up in Flint when it was happening. It was very, very hard to to sit there and just get pummeled by these fucking witty cocksuckers. But, uh, yeah, I look f- I look uh I'd look forward to the Blue Jackets always beating the Red Wings and maybe it's more of a rivalry because I have a lot of friends in Michigan and we like to talk shit to each other cuz uh that's what men do. You talk shit, you have beers, you get over it. That's what men do. But uh fuck the Red Wings. Let's go CBJ. Let's beat them. So we'll 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 test that out. I'm going to post it either way if it comes out good or bad. You guys can listen to it or you can't listen to it. Or don't, or do. Don't fucking matter to me. It's coming out. I hope you listen. I really do. It means a lot to me that you guys are listening. Um, I, I really enjoy doing the podcast. and It continues to get around the same amount of plays every week. Uh, it's not going any lower, so that's good. We're, we're staying steady, and uh, it's only going to get bigger. Um, we're going to try to get registered up on iTunes. Uh, producer John Nash is going to try to help me out this weekend, and we'll, we'll try to get that up and get this thing bigger. And because I think what we're doing is a, a unique take on the sport, and uh, I think people will enjoy it. <clears throat> I started to watch a, a Vice documentary on the YouTube called "Drop the Gloves" about a Canadian league where they just fucking brawl constantly. There's like four fights a fucking game. It's like the the L N A H L fucking it's very French. Um, I, not exactly positive of what it is. I'll finish watching it and get back to you guys. But uh, I just wanted to get it, to get it in your ear, pussies, so some of you guys can watch it. Um, but it's called uh, Vice Sports. Drop the gloves. Go check that out. Let me know what you think about it. Speaking of drop the gloves, old Scotty, Scotty Parker, the sheriff there, fucking uh, he's talking talking to me on the Twitter. This uh, made me feel good. So thanks for making my day there, Sheriff. And uh, we'll get the uh, After Hours Breakfast place open. You know, get some uh, Sheriff memorabilia in there. Eggs and legs. (sighs) All right, you fucking morons. So I did a biscuit poll for the best movie of all time. The choices were Slapshot. Goon, Mighty Ducks, what was the other one? Miracle. I tricked you fucking morons, and I put the Mighty Ducks in there because I knew you stupid fucks would pick the Mighty Ducks. And the Mighty Ducks movie isn't even the best out of the Mighty Ducks films. So you guys failed me. Fucking very disappointed in all of you. No dessert for a week. The Mighty Ducks won. Idiots. The Belleville skating rink is up, waiting for that water to freeze. I need it to get cold out. And we're going down there, we're skating, we're playing puck. It's banned from Belleville, it got banned when I was in junior high school. An innocent bystander took a puck to the mouth. Um, But we used to play down there all the time, constantly. If we were, uh, if it was cold enough, and it was right down the alley from my mom's house, (laughs) so we'd fucking have have my mom lace us up and we'd walk down the goddamn alley in our skates like on the side in people's yards until we got to the rink and skate and play hockey all day and uh yeah you can't have people get hit with pucks and you know pucks fly over and hit cars and stuff but there should be I think in my opinion a night where the youth can come out and skate around and toss some passes to each other and just enjoy the game that I love and Really, that's how a lot of kids got into it. You know, you 
had a brother or cousin that had a stick and we went down there and we played and it was always a good time and some old dude made us goals it was uh you looked forward to it all winter or you know all year until to get to winter so you could play outside and uh the town we're in we don't have a hockey team so that was our taste of it and uh it was really important to the development of us and the sport and i'd really like to get it introduced to the children here <clears throat> that poor fucking dude for detroit who had to First NHL game, that's I think he said he's six six, big old motherfucker, had to go to Pittsburgh, sit there and watch those cocksuckers get announced, and then play in the net for the first time of his life against them. Did very, very good for two periods and then I think the the speed and the talent of the league caught up to him and he fell apart in the third, but I don't remember his name, he was good. So and he's not he's no spring chicken. I think they said he had fucking like 90 games in the AHL, so he's he's seen some biscuits. Uh but look look to see more of him cuz I don't see Howard and Mrazek sticking on this team. One of them's going to go somewhere. That's just uh inevitable in my opinion. Oh my god. That's so fucking great. I haven't even said that fuck's name yet. Oh, did you see the ugly sweaters, ugly Christmas sweaters this week? I know um, Toledo did a throwback or whatever, flashback fucking Friday, Thursday, whatever they do. Of uh, I think theirs from last season, brilliant. And then uh, the Firebirds rolled theirs out this year. They're just cool, man. You got to love those minor league uh, gimmicks. They're, you got to do something to get people in the seats, and those sweaters are always fucking real badass. I want that Flint Firebirds ugly sweater so hard. Almost too hard. So speaking of the Firebirds, let's get into their scores for the week. Uh, they lost today, two to six to London Knights. Not to be confused with the Golden Knights. Um, looks like Friday they won four nothing against Niagara. Saturday lost to Windsor one to two. What are you gonna do? Uh, and that that's. Flint record goes to 14 and 12. They're eighth place in their division in the OHL. <sighs> it's disappointing, but uh, that's that's the way the cookie crumbles, as they say. I'm really fucking worried this thing's not goddamn recording when it goes to the fucking black screen, dude. I wish I could. I wish I knew. It feels like I've been out here for 23 minutes, right? Got to be. Got to be around there. Um, over to the East Coast Hockey League for the Toledo Walleye. Saturday, 3 to nothing over the Quad City Mallards. That's right, Quad City Mallards. Do you know where Quad City is? I don't. When I saw the QC, I thought it was Quebec City. I almost said it, and luckily I hit the fucking details in uh, Quad City Mallards. God damn it, that's a cool fucking mascot. Going to the Mallards game, dude. Let's go get fucking hammered. Go see the Mallards. That's classic. So 3 nothing there. And uh, that's the only game of the week for them. Odd. But that puts them to 15-3. Uh, and three, Second in the Central. Two points behind the lead. Uh, but five games in hand. So that's, uh, let's get an ECHL fucking championship. I can add to my fucking... Like Erie Monsters championship shirts. And I'll have two. And maybe that Stanley Cup. Oh, over to the HL. Speaking of the Monsters. Saturday, lost to Milwaukee 1-4. to Friday, beat those fuckers 4-1. to Wednesday, shootout 3-2. to Grand Rapids, suck a dick. So that's 8-11, 1-1. Because they count the shootout losses in the AHL. So they're in seventh place. We're not expecting much out of those boys. I love them. And uh, it's good to see the development of the guys that are going to be a part of this Blue Jackets organization for a while. And uh, they, I think they said Oliver Bjorkstrand was a healthy scratch the other day. That's fucking odd to me. That is fucking odd. Psh, 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 psh. Connecticut Whale. Over there at the Ladies Hockey League. National Women's Hockey League. Oh, man. Two and four, last place. I know how to pick them, huh? Pick the fucking losers to follow. 
But uh, they got two games in hand, and I, I don't think they have many games left. Their, their season is very, very short. So uh, let's, let's see them make a run in the playoffs, baby, because they all make it. There's only four of them, motherfuckers. Go whale. <laughs> CBJ Games News. Saturday, 3-2 to two win in the shootout against Arizona. <laughs> My wife tweeted out a picture of... Uh, the back of Mike Smith's helmet that has Alice Cooper on it. Yes, we know it's Alice Cooper. But she did a <clears throat> a collage with uh, whatever the fuck that Dumbledore, Dumbledore, Voldemort, whatever that fuck is from Harry Potter, Potter, Harry Potter. Because um, it's super odd seeing that. I, I guess I haven't seen Arizona play this year. But it's fucking freaky having that dude's face in the back of his head. And she said, oh, that reminds me of Harry Potter. I said, I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. So she looked it up, I saw it, and it, it really does look like fucking Alice Cooper on the back of that dude's head and Harry Potter and vice versa. So that fuck loses, and the only thing you see or hear about that goddamn game is he had 58 saves. What a fucking miracle. Nah, dude, I don't give a fuck. You can save 999,000 goals. You lost. You're a fucking loser, dude. But the Blue Jackets set the franchise record for shots in the game with 60, so good for you guys. And speaking of blocking a shit ton of shots, I saw, I don't know if it's true, I saw it, I read it, so I'm telling it to you. Some fucking kid, high school kid in Minnesota blocked 99 or 98 fucking, 99, 98 saves the other day in a high school game. That's fucking crazy. I don't know if he won or lost, but I one, getting that many shots in a game, and then two, that... His fucking defense better blow him or get have him blown something. There better be some blowing going on in that situation because that dude is a beast. I don't care if he gave up 10 goals. He still stopped fucking 98. Thursday, beat the Avalanche 3-2. to two. Uh, My new bitch boy for the week, fucking Martinson of the Avalanche. Fuck you, dude. He is the cocksucker that uh, last time we played him, I think he was, he sent... Wierenski into the boards and got him all fucked up. So he put a hit on Jones, and no, it wasn't dirty, but, you know, our captain doesn't take lightly to that shit. Uh, he didn't like it, so he went over and checked him and fucking beat that ass. So uh, the crown for the new bitch boy this week, Martinson, good for you, dude. How's those fists taste? Tuesday, 5-1 to Tampa. Those are our fucking... We are, we're owning those cocksuckers, man. That means we beat Bishop. We beat Vasileski. Uh What's going on in Tampa? Or what's going on in Columbus? You know? A lot of people have them as the fuck... I had them. I'm pretty sure going to the fucking finals. The final. Right? I don't remember who I picked. Was it Chicago versus Tampa? If Tampa could beat Pittsburgh, I think so. But I don't know. That's why they play the game, huh? Now that right there, that's why you bring two beers out. Because now I got fucking, I drank that one, not done. But I can't just sit in the studio and scream for someone to bring me a beer because that would make me a shitty husband. I need a light, like a... A beer light that I can press in here and it goes into the house and says, bring me a beer. But I don't have that kind of technology, which is sad. Anthem, Madia, Flat Earth, Minute. Madia, when you are outside on the Flat Earth, you see the sun. Do you really think that motherfucker's 93 million miles away? It's not, dude. It's way closer than you think because the Earth is flat. This has been your MFM for the week. Oh, I mentioned Green had the hat trick. Uh, I don't know. Do you guys want to talk about the Buckeyes, the playoffs, the college football? I wanted to. I got it down here in my notes, but I don't really want to anymore. Um, you knew they were getting in. 
I knew it. You knew it. Um, I did send a tweet out that said I, I question the integrity of any man, young man that wants to be a part of that Penn State football program. I really do full-heartedly believe that they should shut that down and no more football for them. Was it like 52 counts of child molestation? I know it's not, <clears throat> you know, whatever. You can say whatever you want, but you just stop it. You know, people stop being Nazis, stop being Penn State football players. Go play at fucking <laughs> Temple or wherever. Close it down. And you know, it's going to be fucked up when they put that Paterno fucking statue back up one of these days. And I saw all this redemption shit. Fuck you. Fuck that school. Fuck Jerry Sandusky. Fuck anyone that harms children. I'm very serious and passionate about that. Is he still alive in prison? I hope he's not. What a piece of shit. Fuck you, Jerry Sandusky. You're the bitch boy, too, along with Martinson. I don't want to compare them, too, because obviously Martinson's not a fucking monster child molester, but... Uh... Yeah. <laughs> League leaders! All right. You got a fucking real cheerful there. Um, points. McJesus, 34. Goals. God fucking damn it. I almost made it. Somebody this week outscore this fucking guy so I don't have to say his name. I cannot wait till I get to the point where I don't have to say this fucking guy's name. But Sydney's got 16 goals. So he's the league leader there again. 16? Wasn't that last week? He didn't score at all this week? That seems weird. That's suspect. Am I getting fucking weird information? I don't know. Maybe uh, the biscuit's not credible anymore. I had all the cutting edge news until now. I don't think that's fucking right. Uh, assist, McJesus, 23. That's to be expected when you have 34 fucking points, but you're not leading in goals. Plus minus, Michael Grabner. Plus 19 for the Rangers. Do you guys know this guy? I don't know this guy. I don't... I gotta have to fucking call my buddy Chuck. He's uh, the only Rangers fan I know. Him and his pops. Maybe get a lowdown on this fuck boy. Yo, Chuck, hit me up. Who's fucking Michael Grabner? Grabner? Who is this cocksucker? Save percentage. Point nine four five. Doobie. Dubinick. Double the sword! That dude's a beast. You know who fucking else is always playing all wimbly bimbly from fucking tree to tree? That Mike Smith dude. First trapezoid fucking infraction I've seen this season, but uh, he don't give a fuck, man. He goes wherever he wants to fucking whipping that biscuit around. Made for an exciting game. Um, I don't know. I might I might check out some Coyotes games this week. You fire up the old center package there and uh, center ice package and get some use out of that bitch. Watch some West Coast games. Wins, 14, Carey Price. You might as well just go ahead and give him the... The fucking plaque for that, because he's going to be the league leader in wins. Mark my words. You didn't hear it first. I mean, there's fucking the whole that whole country knew that. Goal against average. Tuka Rosk. One point six. Would you have guessed that? I wouldn't have. I sure as shit wouldn't have. But I think Boston's kind of turning it on from what I uh, have been hearing with my ears from uh, spitting chiclets and uh, the old puck off boys, which are two great podcasts. I recommend uh, if you're not getting your fill, because I know I'm not up to an hour yet. It's like comedy, man. I'm working on it. I'm getting there. I'm getting better. Gotta find a fucking program, and then once I get my program, once I get my producer, once I get the fucking shit all together, it's it's gonna get better, it's gonna get longer, we're gonna try to keep it around an hour, but uh, we're, we're getting there. Stick with me, guys. Biscuit backers for life. B-Town. Hoods up, hose down. And, uh, shutouts. Dubnik, four. I think Bobrowski's right behind him with, uh, three. So I'd like to see him get a maybe one against Detroit. That'd be fucking sweet. That that would be great. I'll probably take some screenshots of my uh 
my fucking hockey hell raisin and heavy metal conversation I have with my buddies up in Flint. Um, huge Red Wings fans, and they're hilarious, and they always talk mad shit to me, and uh, I'm sure I could get some gold out of that. Um, so we're at the What's in the Box. I told you guys I had fucking cards. I still got more, and I'm going to do it because I think it's fucking cool. And I have a problem now. I've been, like, I only have this one box of hockey cards, but I look at them, like, every day. The cards aren't changing. It makes it makes me, it's, uh, it's, it's nostalgic, man. It makes me feel like a little kid. And you're, like, noticing, like, <clears throat> like just little things. You're just reading over the stats or, like, reading over the back, like, the stories of the guys. It's, I'm having fun with it. So this is the Red Wings edition. These are all mixed Red Wings cards that I set aside for the wife. Dino, Chicarelli, old Vladimir Konstantinov. No, my wife was lucky enough to, at Goodwill in Michigan, a giant plaque of uh, Vladimir with a signed puck from him. It's really fucking cool. She got it for like three bucks. It uh, leads you down to our hockey cave in our basement of our home. Um, down the stairwell there, you got that. You have a uh, Patrick Waugh and Ozzy fighting and uh, some, some Blue Jackets plaques. And it's, uh, I always thought that was really fucking cool. There's another Vladimir fucking metal version. Paul Coffey. The Drapester. Chris Draper blowing some bubble gum, dude. Ooh. Nicholas Lindstrom. You gotta love him. And here's the guy. Sergei Fedorov who is absolutely one of my favorite hockey players of all time. Um, it was a dream come true when he came to Columbus to end his career there. And he's one of them dudes when we were younger. Was, you know, him and Yager and uh, Doug Gilmore and obviously Gretz. But uh, dudes you could play with in uh, Wayne Gretzky Hockey on the Nintendo 64 that got you into the game. Being a small, a not, not market team or not market area being from Ohio. Uh, those were the guys that, you know, you could, uh, cling to and follow that were really good, and, um, thank God for Sergei Fedorov. Stevie Y, the fucking Premier 92, Vernon, Mike Vernon, this is a weird card, just putting on his fucking mask. Chelios in a Blackhawks jersey, blasphemy. There's Ozzy, Sean Burr. No, I don't fucking cannot read that dude's name. Fucking Yashkilev? Nobody knows. There's another coffee. Stevie Y. Stevie Y. Stevie Y. Fucking Lindstrom. If you don't like Nick Lindstrom, you don't like hockey. Randy McKay, baby. Randy McKay. Oh, Pusha. Anders Ericsson. Wouldn't mind if I would. Lirnov. Man, they have some dudes. I don't fucking cannot read their names, man. Tim Taylor. Ooh, New Era. Anders Ericsson. That's a sexy one. Chasson. Another Sergey. Couple more Stevie Ys. Hey, if you want a Stevie Y card, I got like six of the same one. I'll send it to you. Fucking hit me up. I like sending mail. It's fun for me. Is it fun for you getting mail? Of course it is. Everybody likes. That's what you yeah, do. Something. Send send your friend a fucking something in the mail. Even if it send me a fucking hockey card, I'll take it. Hey, Scotty Parker, if you're listening, send me a fucking card, dude. I don't have any Scotty Parkers. I'm gonna go through my cards and double check, but I'm pretty fucking sure I don't. So uh, hook a brother up. Hey, I love you guys. Um. Let's keep growing. Send the biscuit everywhere. Let's do it. Stay hungry, my friends.